What movie gets more praise than it should? What movie gets more praise than it should? Um, I don't know. The Godfather, I've only seen it once or twice. It's like a favorite by everyone. Dude, oh my God. Dude, I'm going to say it right now. Big reveal. Don't don't be mad. Eric, Eric Santos, are you listening? Don't be mad at me, all right? I've been waiting to actually tell you this. I saw the Batman. I didn't like it. Dude, I, I'm a huge Batman fan. You guys should know that. I didn't like the Batman. I'm going to watch it again. All right, now here's the thing. This is what happened. And by the way, what movie gets more praise than it should was submitted by Wiz and Jizz. Strong name. 140 upvotes. Not that many, so let's see what other people had to say. But yeah, before I continue... Um, the Batman. I went to see it alone uh, because I like to. If it's a really popular movie, you, you know, I like to go see movies alone just so my bullshit detector is on high alert to see whether or not I really think the movie is good. I've told you this before. I stayed for the entire three plus hours, however long that thing was, dude, and I. I was bored to tears. There's something wrong with me. I'm the only person. It's obvious. Look, I know that I'm the odd one because like I don't even think I've heard one person yet that that didn't like the Batman maybe I was just really tired because I saw it at the end of the day maybe I should see it caffeinated or something there was something that there was an element that was missing and I can't put my finger on it I think it was too emo for me I know what it is oh my god I know what it is I was thinking of this the other day I don't have any sympathy for people that live in Gotham City. Move. Your city sucks. I think that's why. Like, this, the whole thing just screams, yeah, it's your fault. It's your, it's your fault for living there. It's, first of all, the sun is never out. It's always overcast during the day, right? You ever hear a bird chirp in Gotham? No. You you ever see a ice cream vendor that isn't uh, the Joker in disguise? Everything about Gotham sucks. Also, you know what? You know what really bugs me? The older I get, the more ridiculous I feel watching a guy in a cape. The Incredibles got it right that the the costume designer you know remember the little lady the costume designer in the incredibles that was saying no capes dude she was onto it and then went on the reel about well i don't want to spoil it. it's a very very funny scene but her the point that this costume designer for the superheroes in the pixar movie the incredibles was trying to make the point she was trying to make is no capes they're both silly and dangerous, and I totally agree. Deadpool, Deadpool's uh, costume is perfect, dude. You know, acrobatic. You, you can do whatever he wants in it. It's still mysterious because the, there's the mask. It's the perfect suit. That's what Batman should be in. Again, what are the ears? Are the ears like those little Mercedes antennas th that they had in the 90s or something? What's he do with those exactly? I know he's supposed to be a bat. It's supposed to strike fear. All right, here's something for the comments. Who is scarier? Who's a more ominous presence if if confronted in an alley? Batman or Deadpool? Uh, it would be that it would be Batman, wouldn't it? Because like he's bigger the cape and then the ears and also the fact that he's dressed like a bat actually makes you think like he's a lunatic. Okay, I see what he's doing. Dude, maybe it's not so maybe it's not such a terrible costume after all because you look so fucking dumb when you get your ass kicked by a guy that looks dumb it's even more enraging dude shout out colin farrell though i didn't even know that was him that was fantastic acting he's the uh actually you know what if you don't even know and you haven't seen batman go ahead and see the batman see if you can figure out who colin farrell is in, in that if you don't know what character is colin farrell anyway here we go erie arizona says best picture oscar winner crash I don't think I saw that it was Sandra Bullock, right? And it was supposed to be rigged. I guess it sucked. Oct92018 says, My top five favorite movies of all time include The Godfather 1, 2, The Departed, True Romance. So I clearly like gangster movies. To answer the question, Scarface is just not that good. It's decent. Scarface is too damn long for its own good. Black Panther, it was mid. Black Panther was mid. I thought it was good. I liked Black Panther. I liked the fight scenes at the beginning. I liked the, you know, the Wakanda waterfall throwdown. The end was a little lackluster, but overall, I, I thought it was good. And I liked the character. thought uh, Chadwick did a really good job. R.I.P.
did a good job bringing a lot of life and energy into that character. Titanic. Ooh, bold. Stuff and things says Titanic. That is a, a bold statement. It was pretty good. I saw it in the theater. Was it was it not? No, it was epic, dude. You're out of your mind. I don't know. It's uh, It was big. I disagree on that one, and I don't even like it that much, but it deserves the hype. It's deserved of the hype. The shit that James Cameron did to make that movie a reality is deserving of all of the hype. Frozen, it just, this is from uh, Goal If For For You, Frozen, if it wasn't for one, maybe two songs, it would have been completely forgotten about. The story is just so incredibly bland by Disney standards. Is that true? Maybe. I don't know. Keltoy, 1549, those Fast and Furious ones. Yeah, I'm actually not a fan of those, and it's not that I dislike them, I'm disinterested. I don't really care that much about cars. I like Teslas and Actually, I mean, that's kind of a lie. One of my first jobs was I was a valet at the Marriott Hotel. And it is actually very fun. I like um, driving them and I like seeing them. But I can't really get so into them. I'm willing to watch racing movies and crap about them. I liked Gone in 60 Seconds with Nicolas Cage. I remember that. That was cool. Raymond Calitre. The Notebook. The Notebook was just sad. I don't even want to talk about The Notebook because of the ending. No Sugar Tonight 1 says, I remember when every moody teenager in my neighborhood was obsessed with 300 like it was the epitome of badassery. I thought it was fun, but I knew guys that watched that film almost every day. It consumed their existence. I was one of those guys that was like, I didn't watch it every day or anything, but I remember I, I saw it in the theater with my girlfriend and... Um, afterward, I was like, okay, it's time to do crunches. And I like upped my egg white intake and I started doing like crunches way more than <laughs> it's ridiculous. Yeah. Okay. One more. And then let's bail the star Wars trilogy. The characters are paper thin and somehow the story's even thinner. Well, it's trying to be unique. Yeah, whatever. I don't even care. It's star Wars, dude. It's, it's supposed to be just a fun tongue in cheek time really. And then there's a bunch of lore behind it as well. I like star Wars. So I disagree on that. Okay. You should know posted by and gaming you don't know the person until you say no what you don't know the person until you say no oh it's relationships i'm skipping this go fuck yourself i don't even care hey there we go admiral akbar one posted uh five hours ago today i learned fourteen thousand upvotes today i learned that weird al yankovic wrote all the lyrics to the saga begins describing the plot of star wars episode one to the melody of american pie two months before the movie released he got all the plot points from leaked info he found on the internet and it was almost perfectly accurate that's awesome if you guys don't know uh, what I'm talking about, Weird Al, like they say, made a song about episode one to American Pie. I, I believe the one of the lyrics is, uh, my, my, Mr. Anakin guy could be Vader someday later. Now he's just a small fry. I thought it clearly would have come after the movie came out. Wow. So he just, he wrote all of that with internet based. Uh, information, collected information. Huh? Cerberus Tamman Tamman says, I also read from an interview with Don McLean. Is it McLean or McLean? He was the writer of American Pie that he loves the Weird Al parody of his song, knows it by heart, and is worried about accidentally slipping into it when he performs American Pie at concerts. That's so cool. I don't know about that. That's funny. Very, very funny. PRS Oh, PRS Telly, 01, no way. Is that Paul Reed Smith, Telecaster, 01? Says, I, yeah, it has to be. I tour with a 90s tribute band, and sometimes we do Gangster's Paradise, and I'm always terrified I'm going to slip into Amish Paradise. The fear is real. Edit, the name of the band is The Hollow Decks. It's a reference to Star Trek, The Next Generation. That You sound very cool, PRS Telly, 01. Actually, I'm, I'm going to up, I'm upvote happy today. Just because all of the things you said, first of all, your username is guitar based, you tour, and your name is in reference to Star Trek The Next Generation. You're, you're awesome. Here we go. Head, toes, knees. What the hell is this username? Head, toes, teeth, nose. Head, toes, teeth, nose. I remember when episode one was coming out. 
I found a file on Napster called something like Star Wars Full Prequel Script, so I downloaded it and it was a giant text file. I wanted to know how Anakin turned into Vader, so I scrolled down near the end and it looked around and looked around, sorry, and it said he fell into a volcano. And I remember thinking, okay, this script is bullshit. He didn't he didn't quite fall into a volcano, but that is very funny. I like that. Oh god, okay, you got me. Dude, everyone in this is funny. Okay. Fun times. Happy Mother's Day, by the way. I think uh, this is probably going to go out tomorrow, not today. So I hope you guys had a good Mother's Day. It's uh, Mother's Day, obviously. If you weren't picking up on that, I'm recording this on Mother's Day. And I have to go and have a Mother's Day dinner now. So I'll talk to you guys in the comments. Bye.